Well, hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading all about you. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> Okay, my beautiful Pisces, this is a little bonus reading all about you. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But before I start in the water, they're actually showing me a record player. And it's going round and round and round in circles, but actually um, it looks like the, the pin or whatever you call it, the needle is actually not on it. it. It looks like just the record is going round and round in circles. So either some of you are like stopping and facing the music in your world in some way. Uh, perhaps you feel like there's a problem that you've ignored for a while and you're going to really focus on it. Or maybe some of you are feeling that you've been going round and round in circles on something and you need to take your attention elsewhere. Or it could also indicate that some of you are just feeling like you're in a repetitive cycle right now, a monotonous cycle that is making you feel a little bit out of tune with yourself. You may feel a little bit disconnected from yourself at the moment and you're trying to recalibrate your energy. Um, the only other thing I can see is that perhaps you're literally listening to music and you're listening to vinyl. So uh, please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure. There's literally no song playing. I'm scrying. I'm also clear audience and I don't hear, I'm not here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Your first chord is music. Okay. So your protagonist energy is to focus on tuning in or perhaps for some of you, you may feel that you've lost touch with a certain genre of music or you want to get back in touch with music. Music is obviously important because they were showing me a um, record player. So please take it as it resonates. I mean, it could literally mean that some of you are contemplating buying a record player for yourself or for someone as a gift. And um, yeah, so please take it as it resonates. I'm going to take a step back away from that energy and uh, see what else is going on there for you as well. Okay. Uh, they want me to go one more, so I will. I can definitely see that music will help with stress levels, help release pressure. So, okay. Um, let me see what else we got here. Those cards literally flew right across. We've got the breath. We've also got fire ignition. So um, yeah, I feel like you wanna get moving on something, but you may feel that life has become a little bit repetitive, dull, boring, or you're in a monotonous energy right now. Uh, you definitely are needing grounding. Now, some of you may be looking at healthier practices in your life. Maybe you're trying to get out into nature more. You're trying to go out for more walks or you're trying to just get yourself out there and um, really focus on your body, mind and soul. You may even look at your diet, exercise routine, sleeping patterns in some way. I mean, with the higher calling card there as well, a lot of you are focused on your path and I feel like you're not changing direction. I feel like you're perhaps becoming more inspired. Some of you may have felt a little bit unmotivated recently, or you may have felt that you've had low energy, or you've felt really lethargic. You're changing something about the way you do something over the coming weeks and months, and it's actually going to transform your life for the better. So let me just get uh, the rest of your cards before I look at that. We've got the judgment card twice. We got the Three of Swords, definitely a lot of pressure. Things have been difficult for you. Some of you are trying to learn to surrender to the universe and say, okay, I get the message. 
Things have been a struggle. Show me what you got. Show me what I'm meant to be doing. I see that some of you are looking for an omen. You're looking for signs, asking the universe, are you on the right path? Some of you may have even experienced a disappointment and you felt very pushed and pulled in different directions recently. And you're just trying to find which way is up. Okay, uh, I feel like you've had a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. And I mean, some of you, I just get this energy that you're taking care of things but it has been a struggle, okay? Uh, they want me to go one more, so I will. Let's clarify that Two of Swords with the King of Swords. I'm loving that. So in uncertainty or uncharted territory, you will find your way. You're going to gain clarity. You may be thinking about something before you act on something. So anyway, let's get straight to the energy and see what we got going on here. The first card, of course, is music. There's a reason I was seeing that um, record player there. And this is your protagonist energy. You're trying to find more joy, more fun. You're trying to elevate your spirits and change your frequencies in a world that is constantly pushing and pulling you in many different directions, making you feel a lot of pressure. I mean, human beings, we have a lot to deal with. Not only are we uh, laden with responsibility, focusing on finances, paying bills, trying to get a job or trying to keep a job, trying to work towards goals, look after family, uh, find love, settle down, have children if that's the way you want to go. It may not be the way you want to go, but there's a lot of things that we are working towards in life and a lot of things that we have to do. And I feel like you're trying to find more time to have fun because life has got pretty serious. And I definitely see um, that this is your protagonist energy and you are trying to um, use music perhaps to change your mood or raise your vibration or even create new ways to express yourself more fully. Uh, this is a card where it's like you will really benefit from moving your body and dancing, like really releasing the pressure. So whether it's you go to a class to do that, whether it's like Zumba or like even like a bike class that plays music or you're going to the gym and they play music and you're having a healthy outlet for your energy or some of you, it could be that you're creating something, maybe something artistic. Make sure you play music with that as well because it would really help you express yourself. I feel music is very healing. It's healing to the soul and it helps you um, change vibration, tune into your inner self, but also it, it can change a mood. So music has so much power and I feel like you are also going to receive lots of messages through song. Okay, so if you're looking for an omen, you're looking for a sign, listen out to songs. You know, sometimes I ask the universe myself when I'm alone, like, the next song I hear, can you please send me a message of something I need to hear? If I can't quite tap into uh, an answer that I'm seeking, then I'll ask for a song. And you know, that's why I get lots of songs in my readings because they're very relevant. And I feel you're gonna notice that. I'm always sent a song that will give me pretty much the answer I need. So I feel it's very important for you to listen out to your surroundings, especially when it comes to songs. Now, they gave me no songs there just now, so maybe you're not listening to enough music in your world and you will benefit from that. Um, also, they're giving me an energy of the music of nature. You know, music doesn't always have to be like listening to a song. It can be you going out into nature and hearing the birds chirping or the sea rushing against the shore, or it could be the, the trees rustling. Everything is sound. And we've built a very loud world where we've got traffic, we've got phones pinging and ringing, and we've got uh, emails, you know, landing in email boxes, and we've got people shouting, we've got airplanes and helicopters. There is a lot of sound, okay? And it's really important to find a moment to pause and listen to the sound of nature, if possible, okay? So taking yourself out into a walk um, or you know, to in, a, in a park or getting out into a forest or just being by the sea, listening to the world's soul song. It actually helps recalibrate your own, okay? Especially since you're a water element, you know, you are very sensitive, uh, very emotional. You have a very deep undercurrent and I feel you'll benefit from that. Now, on a more serious note, I get a sense here with the higher calling card. This is the judgment card. So some of you are trying to get onto your true life's purpose, your true north. And some of you may have been searching for direction. You may have been knowing where you want to end up. You know the goal, but some of you may have found it really hard to keep all the plates spinning in the air. That's what I'm seeing here. 
as I feel like you've been through a lot and you are on the right path. The Three of Wands tells me that you're on the right path and I feel like you're learning right now about healthier boundaries. Okay, you're learning not to perhaps talk about some of the goals and so, that you have or some of the achievements that you are achieving because your seventh house is influencing you at the moment and you're noticing who has your back. And even though you may have people in your soul tribe who really wish you well, sometimes when you're upgrading your life and when you're actually um, being successful, even more successful than you are right now, sometimes people wish it was them. And it just puts a little bit of a negative spin on it because they feel like you're changing or your life is changing for the better. And I can see that it, it is, um, even though it's difficult, don't get me wrong, I see the struggle here. Um, it is changing for the better and people feel intimidated because they feel like their life is not changing. They feel like they cannot keep up with you or the things that you are deciding that you want to connect to. So I feel it's important that you recognize, hold back on giving information to people. Okay, because I feel like in stealth mode, you're going to be more successful and you're going to reach your goal. But as soon as you start talking about the plans, I feel you may have noticed this already that sometimes they don't quite come to term or they come to term in a more difficult fashion. But when you're keeping things to yourself, things are a little bit more smooth sailing. Okay, now the judgment card indicates that right now you're trying to find a lot of clarity in your world about the next steps on your path. You are in a period where it's almost like you're at that fork in the road. You're at the crossroads where you are thinking about the things that you want in life and looking at how to get there and what needs to be left behind in order to get to where you want to go. I do see that a lot of you have struggled with self-doubt and you may have had rejections in the past that have caused that self-doubt. There's definitely a blockage here that has um, been experienced, but I feel like you're becoming unblocked. You're making some major changes in your world to step up in the right direction. And I feel that you're bold enough and strong enough to make your dreams become a reality. But your higher calling is also an indication that you need to connect to your higher self. Okay, I feel with the judgment card, you understand what you need to do in all areas of your life. So if you want to, you know, find love, for example, if you're looking for love, you know what you need to do. You need to come out of your comfort zone, put yourself out there in um, a group setting in some way um, or on a, a dating app. You need to take certain steps in order to do what you want to get your desired outcome. The universe is going to step in and send you the right person, but unless you make some sort of effort towards what it is that you want, then the universe can't like throw what you want through the window. So it's, it's really important to recognize there has to be some necessary steps taken on your part in order to do that. Okay. Now, right now, your main focus seems to be about your true calling. So some of you are really trying to work out what's my mission. And I feel you have that goal. The Three of Wands tells me that you are aligning yourself with your heart's desire and there are actually a lot of opportunities before you. You may not see that right now, but I definitely get a sense that you are on the right track. And you, if you have been questioning the right path, you're on it. Okay, I really get a sense that um, there are more opportunities coming on in towards you. But the Three of Wands is also a card of you know, building that confidence in that what you have done so far will deliver returns. And I feel like you should be really proud of yourself and that things are actually going to turn out way better than you expected. Okay. Now, some of you may be thinking about traveling. You may be thinking about traveling for work, or you may want to travel for work, or you may be thinking about your higher calling and how you can be more freelance, have more freedom in your world to explore the world. And some of you, if you are in business, you may be thinking about expansion right now and how you can branch off and do different things that keep that spark alive. The three wands really is about to wait observe and wait for the right moment to either launch something or you know you're anticipating something and you can see that change is afoot in this world and I definitely see that you are trying to connect to things that you're really good at in order to build a solid financial foundation I mean although finances are important I don't see it as your main focus right now. I feel like you're trying to follow your heart on something. And with the Queen of Cups, I definitely see that you're learning that you're a gift, that you have a lot to offer. And I feel like you're also learning to be very comfortable with your emotions, emotional security. The Queen of Cups is someone who's very sensitive, someone who has a lot of empathy, a lot of understanding, 
and I feel like you're learning to tune into your higher self and recognize that your intuition is also a gift. You were given a very strong sense of intuition for a reason. And some of you may have felt it's been both a blessing and a curse because you tend to see under the undercurrent a lot more than other people. And sometimes you can pinpoint and locate someone's alternative methods or someone's, you know, true intentions. And it may disappoint you because you don't want to be right. You want to believe in the best of people and their um, intentions. But I get sometimes that you're disappointed with the fact that these people do not act in their highest regard. I'm also picking up on an energy here that some of you have had it hard. And I feel that you have been uh, pushed and pulled and knocked down by life a lot. And I feel you've had to transform many, many times and find many new paths to open yourself up to. And I feel that some of you may have thought about giving up on something recently, but I'm being shown that it's going to change in some way and it's going to help you not give up on it. Okay, I'm going to pull some cards on that and see what that is. But ultimately, the Queen of Cups is to follow your heart. It is to open yourself up to what you desire. And I feel you're someone who is learning to really listen in life to the undercurrent, listen to your intuition, and to embrace your sensitivity and your emotion. Um, ultimately, I feel like you're fine tuning your energy and I feel like you're attracting some really good stuff as an outcome because thoughts become things and you've got the King of Swords there. So that tells me that you are going to take action and accomplish something that you've been thinking about for quite some time. Um, you're really gifted as well. You're really good at what you do. And what I'm seeing here is that your accomplishments will be your revenge if anyone has done you wrong. I see that success is like revenge. Some of you may have um, attracted people in the past who were toxic for you or situations that were toxic for you. And I feel it's in some way dulled your shine, knocked your confidence or made you lose your sparkle. So for example, if you went up for your dream job opportunity and you're like, yes, I got this. I'm now on the path that I want to be on. And suddenly you enter that working environment and you find out that everyone is really horrible, that they're soul destroying. They are on autopilot. They don't really care. They're just getting by and you really care about your job or you really care about your industry. And you're like, can't anybody see how exciting it is to work in this environment and everybody else around you is completely numb or like a robot or they're, you know, there's uh, no teamwork or no support. And you're like, well, this isn't what I thought it would be. And I feel like it's dulled your shine a little bit. Same with the relationship. You've gone into something in the past that perhaps, you know, had the promise of being true love. And I feel like there is love there, but there's also trauma and there's also uh, toxic behaviors or patterns or habits that perhaps have made you feel stuck. You didn't want to leave something that you loved but it was negative. So at the same time, you felt you had to take action on this. And right now, I feel like you're feeling a little bit stuck. I also see that procrastination really, it drains your energy even further. So if you have found yourself like scrolling through your phone endlessly, suddenly half an hour has passed, 45 minutes have passed, and you're like, oh, I gotta get back to my work or I need to do something, you may find that your energy is lower. You may feel that your eyes are super tired. You may feel that your brain is suffering from a little bit of brain fog because I feel like you're looking at things that drain you and trying to cut them out. Now that doesn't have to be your phone. I'm just giving you an example. I feel it could be that you're looking at food substances that give you an intense quick fix high like sugar rush and then a crashing low and you're like you want to find balance in your world so I feel like you're trying to choose the healthier options in life right now and it's been hard it's been it's been difficult now the four cups for some of you you're just feeling unfulfilled in some area of your life you may feel that it's just the same old thing if you see in the four of cups there's four cups that are identical and it's like well everything's the same how's anything ever going to change it's not and then the universe steps in and offers a cup that is more rewarding than ever before and says look i got a surprise for you but you got to believe open yourself up to change 
And I feel like that's what you're going through right now because the Devil card and the Eight of Swords tells me in some area of your life right now, you're feeling stuck. Now, whether that's a habit you've got that you're trying to change or whether that's uh, you, you have a habit of attracting people who are toxic or situations that are toxic, I definitely see that you're being really honest with yourself. You're releasing yourself from denial, seeing things as they clearly are and saying, look, this is not good for me anymore. I got to change it because if I don't change, then there will be no change. And I definitely see that you're having the courage to override any fear. I mean, some of you are a little bit nervous about a new project that you're launching or a new idea that you're launching. You're investigating it further right now and you're wondering, is it going to be successful? Well, the answer is yes. It is your passion. It is your true calling. And I definitely see that it's going to uh, bring a lot of reward and transform your life. Some of you are actually thinking about setting up your own stream of income or becoming an entrepreneur. And I definitely see that it will hold you in good stead. And I feel like it will be like another string to your bow. I feel like you are someone who does a lot. I feel like you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, but I feel like you're capable of um, multitasking. And I definitely see that you have a brilliant mind where lots of ideas come to you, but also you're really great with finding a solution. Um, they're actually showing me the game of Tetris right now. And this came up in a reading maybe about two, three months ago. I'm not sure for which sign, but they're showing it to me in the water right now. You're really good at looking at a problem and solving it quite quickly. You know, those people who like see the shape and they're like, okay, it, it fits here. Some people can do that really well. And Others cannot, they just don't have that capability. And I feel like you're looking at life right now and finding solutions to things that perhaps have been bugging you for a while or um, you know, have the potential to keep you feeling stuck. Now we do have groundedness, gravity. So some of you have felt a little bit scattered in your energy recently. You may have had low energy, low motivation. I feel like there's been a lot of pressure on your shoulders and I feel you've needed some me time. The Queen of Cups really is about um, finding time to have some self-care. You are a healer as well. So I feel it's really important for you to recognize and some of you may actually really know this. You may be thinking about launching a career in uh, the healing sector or, you know, uh, it, doing something where you help other people. And I feel it's really important to ground yourself, but also to protect your energy and be discerning about the energy that you give out because you are an overgiver. The Queen of Cups tends to tell me that you give a lot of yourself to people. And I feel like sometimes you may not get the same energy in return. Now this card, it's number 39. When you reduce it, three plus nine, of course, is 12. And that's the hangman energy. And this figure is suspended. You know, two butterflies um, have these attachments there um, to this figure who's sitting on top of the world. I mean, for some of you, this is literally world events. You're like feeling that heaviness from the world and what's going on, the changes that are occurring. And you're like, you may feel that you just don't understand the world as it is right now. And you're trying to work things out. You're trying to understand what's the end game? What's the outcome? Why are these things happening? Why is everything sort of ramped up and it feels really crazy right now? And you're trying to find stability in a world of change. But I feel like one of your talents is that you're really flexible. You're able to see a solution and you're able to bend with any changes in order to put yourself in a really good position. Um, also, you have a natural affinity with animals. Animals love you. Okay, um, some of you may even go into working with animals, but animals are very attracted to your energy because you have a pure heart. You're really, um, you know, you're a good soul. And I definitely see that you're a friend to all. And I mean, some of you may even return to an instrument that you used to play, or you may actually decide to learn an instrument during this time that's popping up there as well. But I feel so showing me wolf right now. So this can indicate that some of you are searching for direction or you're trying to find your way or you're even trying to find your soul tribe. You may feel a little bit isolated or alienated right now. And I definitely see that you're going to put yourself out there a little bit more to connect to community or to uh, people to go out there and have fun. Even people that you haven't heard from from a while. I really get a sense that you're going to reconnect with those people and reestablish relationships that perhaps you lost touch with as well. Okay. Now this card, it is gravity, of course, and it is an energy of needing to ground yourself, not just in nature, but also to, you know, 
find groundedness and wisdom in the moment to take a pause, especially since you have the hangman energy. Some of you are not giving yourself quality rest. Okay, and quality rest can mean, you know, meditation or just sitting in silence for a while. Quality rest is not like having an idea and then searching it on your phone. Just because you're not doing physically other things or you're not at work or you're not, you know, being active. I feel like your brain is always on the go. And I feel your body is kind of calling out for a bit of rest suspend energy just to take a pause. I mean, this card, it literally has a maze right in the center. And there's something in your gut instinct right now where you feel very uncertain. And you may be trying to work out a way to find security in that moment or something that you're searching for, perhaps you haven't found yet. And I feel like you will find that solution. Um, I mean, the card does say surrender, which is to believe in the process that the universe has got your back. And I feel some of you may have felt that there's been a missed opportunity in your world as well. Remember, what is meant for you will never pass you by. So that opportunity was not meant for you. And sometimes the universe will close a door to us on purpose because they know what's on the other side. And that other side of the door is not as good as it sounds. Later on down the line, many years from now, they know that that door, if it opened to you, that it could be negative, it could be detrimental to your progress, and the door remains shut. It doesn't mean that that door is always going to remain shut. It just means right now that door is not accessible to you because it's not ready for you. So I feel it's really important to recognize that when the time is right, the doors will open. Okay. Uh, now the hangman energy tends to tell me that you sacrifice a lot of your time and your energy towards everything you do. And the hangman is to seek new knowledge to, um, how can I put that? It's like there is a time for inaction and reflection in order for new opportunities to manifest towards you. Sometimes when you're really busy, really pressurized and always on the go, you're not giving the universe an opportunity to step in and give you something new. So take a pause. And I feel for some of you, you've been working hard towards something and there's been a bit of a delay. And I feel you're thinking about either giving up on something because it's been really difficult. If your heart's not in it and you've lost your passion for it, then it's time to release it. It's time to evolve from it. You're not giving up on something and it's not a failure. It means you're evolving, you're maturing, and you're learning that there's no point in giving your energy to something that is just not giving back to you or it's not feeling rewarding. If it is your passion, then keep going for it because I feel like there's a breakthrough coming for you. But I really feel more than anything, you're checking in with if you're passionate about things because I feel some of you have lost that sparkle. You may have lost that lust for life and that energy is coming up for a lot of signs recently. Uh, the Three of Swords, it's in the resistance position. So it tends to tell me, it's like you got it in the reverse. That means that there is some physical healing going on or some healing, maybe even mental healing going on where you're in recovery. Okay, so if you've gone through toxic situations, I feel like you've been recovering your power. Um, I feel like you um, are returning to your personal best. That's what I see. I feel like you're getting back to best and you're reestablishing your power, but also I feel like you're reconnecting to your sense of self. If you feel like you've lost the way or you've lost that sparkle, I feel like you're going to uh, recover it over the coming months and you're gonna have more energy than ever before. Also, the Seven of Wands is giving me an energy that, yes, things have been stressful. Don't give up. I get a sense that you're, you're fighting for what you believe in and you will be successful, so keep going. But also, this indicates that you're trying to manage stress levels, you're trying to manage the pressure in your life right now, and you're recognizing that when it feels too hard all the time, take a pause, take a step back, allow the universe to show you a better way, an easier way. Many years ago, I was trying so hard to create something in my life and it just wasn't happening. And I'm stubborn. I wouldn't give up. I kept on going, kept on going at the detriment of my health. You know, I was a workaholic. I was working towards something and I was working in a very toxic environment and the universe gave me many signs to leave that place, but I didn't listen. And eventually it gave me a tower moment and you know, everything just came crumbling down and I became very still. And I was like, okay, 
Now I got nothing. So what am I going to do? So I thought I was really numb at that point. And I was like, I, I don't know what to do. And I just got this sense of calm, like, don't worry, we got you. We got you. And everything I had been fighting for, everything, after I released the attachment and the struggle and the pressure to make it happen, suddenly the universe started to deliver it with ease. And I was like, I, I can't believe it. I can't, is this a trick? That was my first thought. As a Scorpio, I was like, this is a trick, right? It's going to be taken away from me. As soon as the goodness comes, there's going to be a fly in the ointment. Where is it at? And the universe was like, no. We just needed to teach you a lesson about holding on to things that hurt you holding on to experiences that are making you feel so much pressure that you are panicking, you're having anxiety. We've got to teach you a lesson and it's got to be a harsh lesson. So I was taught my harsh lesson and I learned it. And you know, sometimes I forget about it and the universe will teach me again, but I feel you've been learning about something that's difficult in your world. And I feel like you're trying to release the pressure and say, okay, it is what it is. And I feel then you're going to start to see good things come, okay? Uh, now, I don't know who needed to hear that, but that reading took a weird turn. I'm reading energy, so I'm being given and channeling. I'm being given energy of what they need me to say for you. And, um, yeah, that took a turn. But anyway, let's move on from that. We have Depth Lake. Now, this is really about being your authentic self, okay? You're doing a bit of a deep dive in life and you're not cutting corners. I feel like you're seeing the whole picture of your life and you're trying to make a decision on the next path. Um, you have a vision and I feel like you're submerging yourself in that vision to make your dreams become a reality. We also have darkness, okay? And I definitely get a sense, I mean, this is your outcome energy. So I feel like some of you are facing something that's really difficult in your world. And I mean, it's moon energy, Moon energy tends to mean that you are looking at your shadow side, things that make you feel fear, things that you feel that you've built that um, are crumbling away, or you know, you may feel you're looking at the illusions in the world that we have been sold, and you're seeing things as they truly are. And sometimes when you go to that level of awakening, it can be shocking, it can be disorientating, and I get a sense here that you're trying to find which way is up in your world. There may be a lot of things online that you're seeing that, um, you know, are crumbling away beliefs that you had for a while or um, situations that you have experienced for quite some time, maybe changing or shifting. And you're just trying to find your way within these transformational periods. And I mean, this is one of the most difficult periods in our lifetime. And you have got this. I get a sense that you're being very flexible or you're learning about flexibility and you're becoming not comfortable with uncertainty. It's not that. I feel like you've got this, whatever this is, I feel like you're going to um, either launch something or step into your power where you can change your life and your thoughts are becoming things. But the darkness card, it's number seven. So that means some of you are feeling a little bit stuck or stifled because you feel like there's no um, progress. And, you know, there are cycles to everything and there's a season for everything. Don't push yourself when the tides are against you. Don't be afraid of those times, though, because it's necessary. It allows the light to come towards you. So again, you're getting the energy of rest and repair and allow the universe to deliver what it needs to. Now, also, if you think about the moon, the moon cannot shine all by itself. It needs the sun. So you're really looking at things people, places, spaces that drain you. And I feel like you're going to cut those things out of your life or take a step away from them or just address them, nip them in the bud and say no. Okay, you're reestablishing boundaries. And I get a sense also that you are starting to understand your own personal power, that gravitational pull that you have. Because you're a water element, you're highly influenced by the moon. Okay, and the moon is all about the ebb and flow of life. And the, the moon actually has so much power, it controls the tide of the sea. So I feel like you are recognizing your power and how you have the control to actually attract what you desire and push away what you don't. So I really feel like you're reestablishing things in your life right now that will change your life exponentially. Um, now, as you can see, we've got life breath. So taking a pause it's really important, or managing your stress levels, especially when it comes to your heart space, okay? Um, we've got life breath here, and it's number 27. So when you get the life breath card, this is really about focusing on things that change your breath, 
that make you feel anxious, have a panic attack. Um, you know, I feel like you're slowing things down and being more mindful. And this card can also indicate that some of you need to rethink your strategy. That doesn't mean you're not going to get your goal because I actually see that you will get your goal, whatever it is you're working towards. But I feel you may uh, find an alternative route that is easier to get to where you want to be. And I feel like you're checking in with your intuition because your intuition knows the way. Um, we do have expansion, north and fire ignition. So you're rediscovering your lust for life and your passion. And I get a sense here that some of you, you're, you're moving towards your true north. Okay, so I feel like you're in exploration mode. I feel like you're being guided to do your research, focus uh, on what it is that you need to do to overcome any obstacles. And I feel that you're connecting to your true life's purpose. But this card in particular, it really highlights that we have many purposes. We don't have to always focus on the one thing. You know, we have many purposes. So our purpose is to be a really good friend. Our purpose is to spread love and joy in the world. Our purpose is to be really good at our job. Our purpose is to have a mission, to uh, connect to all the things that we're passionate about. Our purpose is to uh, fall in love at some point. You know, we have many different uh, purposes in life, not just one single one. And it's important for you to try and find balance and open yourself up to the adventure of life as well. Um, like for example, they're showing me me, okay, and what they're showing me is that many, many years ago, I was meant to go from A to B, okay? I wanted to go to a certain store, and I was walking the streets. I know the streets very well, where I live, of course, and uh, normally I would go the most direct route. But on this particular occasion, I was a little bit lost in my thoughts about my life and how things were going, and you know, things weren't going so well then, and I find myself going a different route to where I want to go. And I suddenly came out on this road and I was like, why did I take this route? This is weird. I'm, this is really odd. Anyway, let me get back on track. So I thought I better go back to the direction that I was meant to go in, but I didn't actually retrack. I continued forward. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so I was here and I was meant to go here. And uh, normally I would take the direct route that way, but I found myself going this way and then this way. Okay. And what I didn't know was that the universe wanted me to be at this point to meet a person who was in distress and there was no one there to help them. So inadvertently, because I was caught up in my own thoughts, I actually took a different route and I came across someone that I needed to meet in order to help them because they were completely distressed. Now, I'm not going to give you the situation of what happened there, but, you know, luckily I found myself in that situation and being able to help. That was a purpose. My purpose in that moment, even though I didn't realize it, was to take a different route so that I would come across someone who was in distress, who really needed like major, major help. And so I was put in that person's path. Sometimes you are meant to take a detour in life to be on someone else's path. And sometimes other people are meant to be on a detour in their life to be on your path. So it's really important. Things are being orchestrated behind the scenes for us to be in the right place at the right time. And I feel like you're going to start to understand that um, later on um, in, well, I feel like later on something next year for you in particular, round about June time, they're gonna be the June time, um, is very important for you, a major change that is going to make you so happy, so, so happy, okay? I definitely see lots of joy there. Um, now we've got ignition fire. So this is about finding or rekindling your passion for life and for something itself. Uh, this is a card to live your passion, to allow your spirit to drive you forward, to not overthink a situation. The time is now to innovate and take action. Be that lighthouse for others and find yourself a mentor but also, you know, you may find a mentor who reignites those passions within you as well. Um, you have the power to create your destiny. Sometimes it's important to recognize the words that you use. If you believe you cannot do something, you're right, because you lose the motivation and the drive to even start. But if you believe you can do something, you will do everything in your power to make it work. 
So I feel like you're changing your mindset as well um, during this time. Now, this is a very complex reading. I hope it's resonating with someone out there. Uh, we do have the death card, major change. You're ending something big in your life. Now, this could be as simple as an old habit in your life or disconnecting from something that has been very difficult or hurts you. The transformation card indicates something big is ending to make space for something new to come in, something greater, okay? Um, so you're in a transitionary period and you're transforming your life for the better. The death card is a card of totally revamping your life in some way. And I feel like you are recognizing that if you don't make the change, then it will remain the same and you'll feel really, really stuck, okay? Uh, again, you've got the judgment card. So your intention is to be connected to your true life's purpose. You're changing something about your life, you're leaving your old life behind, and you're opening yourself up to um, a major wake-up call. And I get a sense that a new life is dawning for you, and you're getting the outcome that you desired. So I feel like you are on the right path. I mean, these figures are literally leaving their old life behind, and they're embracing their inner wisdom, and they're listening to their true calling, and they're connecting to it. Um, I feel like some of you have struggled with indecision for a while, but I also feel that this indecision has helped you tap into your intuition. It is teaching you that, that your intuition knows the way, that you have that inner compass within you. This figure is about to explore new lands and is uncertain. There's uncharted territory ahead, but if you tap into your awareness, you will find the answers you seek in order to change your circumstances and create stability. She's literally sitting on a, um, the, the seashore there, the sea is calm, so there's no threat here. So I feel like you know, you're going to find a way to bring stability into your circumstances and a decision needs to be made in some area of your life, which I feel right now you're ready to take. And it is a big one, it's a major one. You've got some major arcanas here at the end, which tells me that you're trying to either launch something big or relocate to something big, or you're just spiritually becoming super aware of changes that are going on around you and you feel called to make a change in your own life, to rise up and meet those changes and find yourself in a very secure position long term. Um, the Strength card is a card of being bold, being daring, but it's also a card of making sure that you lead with love for yourself as well as for others. and. I feel like you're having the courage to make this change, even though things have been difficult. And we do have that King of Swords energy as well. And that's all about clear thinking. You know, the Two of Swords is really an indication that when things get tough, when you're trying to orchestrate new things in your life, take a pause. The Two of Swords is to take some silence, to meditate. And in silence, wisdom will come to you. And the King of Swords indicates that you know what you need to do. Strategize and take action. It's like, think before you act, okay? Now, the King of Swords also indicates that you have a lot of power in your situation and you don't give yourself credit for the power that you actually have. This is also a card of being really organized and decisive. And some of you may have felt that something or somebody has wasted your time or your energy has been scattered recently and you've unfulfilled potential. I definitely see that you're going from strength to strength. And I see that um, you're going to get the answers that you seek. You're going to feel more motivated, have more energy, more productivity. And I definitely get an energy that you are changing your circumstances for the better. Don't get me wrong. I see that things have been difficult for you. Okay, but I feel like you got this. Now, I'm just going to get one more card. I want to clarify that Two of Swords and the Strength card. King of Pentacles. For some of you, you've been really worried about finances. Okay, and some of you are thinking about launching a new business or you're stepping into a, some sort of leadership position or a position that has more responsibility and you're a little bit worried. I definitely get a sense here you got this. I feel like you are making really good decisions. Also, the King of Pentacles can indicate that things have got a bit dull or boring and you know, you've been playing it safe in your world in some way. And with the King of Swords present, it can indicate that um, you feel inspired to change something or you're thinking about launching a new plan or even setting up a second stream of income in order to help yourself move forward and do something that you love doing. Ultimately, the King of Pentacles is about attracting more wealth 
but also manifesting what you truly desire as long as you remain grounded and stick to your plans because I feel like they will work for you. So I'm just going to go get some final cards. Uh, this reading was very scattered. I don't know if you noticed. It was a bit scattered in the energy. So maybe because your second card there was grounding, maybe that's how you've been feeling recently. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Now, for some of you, I mean, love didn't really come up in the reading. I mean, some of you may have been hurt before in the past. If you're looking for love... I mean, I feel that like you could be talking to someone new, but this is just after you make some sort of major change in your life. Uh, it says here, true love will find you in the end. But as you can see, there's two astronauts there. So that's about exploring your options or exploring outside your everyday circumstances, okay? Going that extra mile. So whether that's, you know, if you've never been on online dating before, perhaps you may think about doing that. If not, you may think about putting yourself out into something creative that you haven't done before. You may join a community where you can meet new people. So I definitely see that you are taking ownership of your energy and um, trying to find new experiences to connect to. Now, we also have be patient, trust the weight. Everything is coming together. And for some of you, there has been a big pause on something that you've been manifesting, and it has been very frustrating, and you even thought about giving up on it. Remember, if you've lost your passion for it, that's different. Learn to walk away from something that you feel you are no longer invested in. But if your passion is still there, I definitely see there's a major breakthrough coming for you, and things are starting to slot into place. And it says here, you have so much to offer the world. Don't ever doubt your contribution. It's really interesting that the water elements are getting this card. So Cancerian also got this card as well. So perhaps some of you, you know, you've suffered with um, confidence in some way. And I feel like you are uh, trying to rebuild your confidence after a period of either somebody knocking that confidence or experiences just knocking you down. I definitely see that you are going from strength to strength, okay? Um, we've got, you're exactly where you need to be. And you're definitely on the precipice of change, but I see that you're on the right path. And it says, be willing to let go of everything you once thought to be true. Now, that really weird message did come up in the reading earlier about things that you know to be true. You may feel that they are changing or being exposed in some way. So, um, yeah, this is a very strange time. And I feel you are almost like a bubbling cauldron of all the things that are going on in the world right now, as well as everything that's going on within you. And I feel like you're just trying to find which way is up, trying to rediscover your lust for life, really trying to get clear on your path and find security for you and your family. And it's as simple as that, but I feel like there's so many different layers to your reading as well and lots of thoughts that are going on around your head and you're just trying to find that grounded, balanced energy that brings more harmony, more fun, more spontaneity, and more of the good stuff because there's been a lot of pressure. It's been difficult, okay? I'm just going to go and get a rune or a trinket before we close. Um, okay, a lot of signs are getting this one as well. This is the hero rune. You have a lot of potential, but it's also about freedom. This rune is all about uh, freedom. It's also about you reestablishing your power, taking action on something, a positive conclusion making your mark, and for some it's new beginnings. But ultimately, this rune connects to mindfulness as well, to have a clear mind. Some of you may have felt like you've had some brain fog or just couldn't reach for certain words recently because I felt in some way in your reading, I felt a gear shift, and you're just trying to make sense of a gear shift. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that, and I hope something resonates there's going to be probably not much that resonates in there for some people because it felt really like, whoa. But anyway, I'll leave it like that. I hope it did resonate. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Pisces. Love and light.